Hello everyone, we're in Toronto. Um, we haven't sort of done a real vlog or anything for a while. We haven't been sure what we want to do with our videos and that, but I think we'll just continue vlogging. Um, our travels are sort of over, I guess, but we're still traveling because we've just been in Vancouver and we've now come to Toronto. We're going to be here for probably about a month. Um, and then we're moving on to Montreal for a few months because we're not really sure where we want to be and we're just sort of bouncing around a little bit and getting the feel for a few cities but we're in Toronto um, Vancouver was awesome but Toronto is also awesome um, we got here yesterday we're staying in an Airbnb um, another basement place uh, it seems to be the cheapest accommodation for if you want just like a month um, of accommodation and um, it's not as nice as the other ones. The one in Vancouver had sort of spoiled us for basement places because it was probably nicer than any house I've ever lived in. But this is our place. It's kind of messy. Um, this is the living room slash bedroom. It's like really messy because we haven't really packed things up. But we'll tidy it up. We're going to do that today. There's a lot of craps just everywhere. Um, yesterday we went for like a massive trip for a whole hour to get a ring fit because you can't find these anywhere at the moment we had to travel for ages to get it and we played that yesterday and man am I sore but that's fun maybe if I feel like it I'll feel myself using it and it's like a little nook down there and just a long corridor and the funny thing is it's like really low down here I can touch the roof and I'm really short so if I can touch the roof the roof's not very high and that's our kitchen so now we're just heading out to the grocery store to pick up some supplies and that because we don't really have any food and stuff well this place did come with some food but so that's nice but um, we're gonna head to a Korean grocery store downtown um, it's like a 15 minute tram right away so we're, we're pretty close to downtown but that's what we're doing right now stuff so weird it's a bag full of milk and they're everywhere bags of milk Tally's unpacking one of the bags this is the most important thing we got $15 kimchi she might have been more might have been more than that this is our haul very exciting I know the Korean grocery store is really expensive because it's like $70 for everything which I thought was really expensive because we didn't really get an awful lot to be honest we got makings for Puttajigae spam and stuff and this stuff some crab cake thingies and fun yellow pickles and what's that brown root stuff right? Burdock Burdock root yeah for Kimbap, which we're gonna make, and just some general stuff. Rice, apples, mirin. Very exciting. Well, don't know if I showed my cool Legend of Zelda Sleppy Cup, but that's what I'm drinking water out of. That's not what I'm here to show. I'm here to show this stuff. Um, the water here in Toronto tastes like crap. That's the nicest way I can say it. It just has a really funny taste to it. So we're going to try to flavour the water a little bit because I can barely drink it. Okay. Do I stir it? If I could stir it. Yeah. It tastes like wheat cordial. But it definitely helps a little. And I was having an issue with his oven last night because when you go to turn it on wait, I have to go roast and it's like put in a temperature and you go, oh okay I'm pretty sure Canadian use Celsius but like I could turn it up to 600 so I think it's in Fahrenheit but it doesn't say whether it's Celsius or Fahrenheit 
Oh, maybe you can't put it at 600. 550. Okay, I can go at 550. Which you can definitely not set an oven to 550 degrees Celsius. But I thought Canadians use Fahrenheit. No, Celsius. I thought Canadians use Celsius. But I don't know. Some things are doing Fahrenheit and some things don't seem to be. So I was really confused. I just took a guess. Alright, it's lunchtime and I'm making some kimbap, which is, I guess, kind of like Korean sushi, if you will. And one thing I don't like about this place is, one, look how freaking small this kitchen is. There's like zero bench space. And two, there is no salt. Like, it comes with a bunch of stuff and there is salt, like, but it's, um, like big chunks of it. And there's no salt grinder, so what we had to do yesterday was manually smush some to yeah because we need salt to make the kimbap hello from freezing cold toronto it snowed this morning winter is officially here it's very lightly snowing now camera brought doesn't pick it up nothing settling it's just freezing we're right down on the lake um we're down here because we're going to a pub um and after that we're going to see the maple Leafs play at scotia back arena yeah, we've had this pub has lots of beer. Toronto's really known for beer, I think. They like to make beer. What else do you do when it's freezing? We're freezing out here. And I just want to go inside and get a beer and something to eat. Yeah, it's been a while since we've <laughs> vlogged. We've gotten really awkward with vlogging. Are you awkward with vlogging? No. No? Hello, I'm vlogging. We're vlogging. <laughs> view from the nosebleeds that still costs us over a hundred dollars a ticket
post-game hot dogs at this little hot dog van right behind Sally because they're all cheaper than the hot dogs in the stadium by like half the cost and they look way better how's your street meat meat from the street it's gonna be quite a treat Brooklyn Nine-Nine It's really coming down out here. I think winter's here, officially. Issue is, I don't really have any winter boots and it's snowing pretty heavy. So I'm gonna have to walk through this in my runners. There is some stepping stones here somewhere. So what we're doing today is going out into the city. Um, I really, really need to buy some boots because I didn't expect it to be snowing this heavily right now because I'm an idiot. But we just sort of jumped on us. It was kind of warm when we first got here. But now it's incredibly snowy, but it's kind of cool out here. Um, we're not just getting boots though. We're just gonna have a look around the city and get something to eat maybe go to chinatown but boots are priority because my feet are going to get wet in this weather i like little steps because the ground's so icy and these shoes that have zero traction on this icy ground <laughs> i'm not prepared for this $2.99 Yeah, great. It's got your pink jacket there. Is that $2.99 dumplings? You get six of them for $2.99 Canadian, obviously. And it tastes like a pretty good deal. Dumplings. So good when it's snowing outside. Both of you know we're in Chinatown. So that might explain why we're getting dumplings. So he's about to buy it. Let's watch it burn our mouth. They hot? Okay. Mm. They are so good that we have to get seconds. I've already eaten one. You can't say no to two ninety nine dumplings. That's 50 cents a dumpling. I could do maths. Got my new boots. I'm not slipping over anymore. I'll show them off better later. It looks like it's the end of the world here. It's snowy, dark and cold. We're in Koreatown right now. Hey, where's the sign? See, Koreatown. And we're going to a Korean grocery store. Perfect winter treats, I think. Okay, so these are my new boots. They are Sorel, obviously. I think they're the Cheyan 2s. Duck boots, which is that funny little rubber thing. It's got like this rubber outsole. Is that called an outsole? I have no idea. They look kind of funny at the bottom, but they have really good grip. I haven't slipped anywhere. Leather, the top, waterproof. Insulation, I think it was like 200 grams insulation, is meant to be good to minus 30 degrees. And yeah, they're pretty comfy. They run like half a size big, I think, because I had to go size up. But those are my new boots. So how cheap they were? They were... I got them for 124 Canadian, which on the Sorrel website said it was 180. So, must have been on sale. Got it from some shoe shop. I don't remember what it was called. Get outside. Get outside is what it was called. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to take the rubbish out. One of these is for cycling, and one of them is normal rubbish. But because of all this snow, I can't actually tell. I actually don't even know where one bin ends and the other one starts.
I'll be joining it's okay. You saw me come out of here today in my runners. There is no way I was gonna be able to wear my runners out here. 